seven countries represented for both the men and the ladies. For the men, it's the Republic of Korea, China, Japan, Hungary, Italy, Canada, and Holland. But it's the ladies that we focus our attention on first. And uh, we've got Germany, China, Holland, Canada, Italy, Bulgaria, and the Republic of Korea. It's the ladies 1,000 meters. And uh, we're going to start with a look at heat number two. And uh, that is the lineup for the Republic of Korea, Yunmi Kim, fifth in the world championships. The uh, world champion, Yang Yang A, in second place there at the moment. And Annie Enke, wearing number 60. Nine laps of the track. Fabulous setting the ice, really, really good. You meet Kim, it is for Korea leading and a bit of a cat and mouse game. We'll see when we get onto the 500 meters, things are much, much quicker. The start crucial there, but still with six laps to go, we've got uh, the Korean leading, Yun Mi Kim, with China's Yang Yang A in second place. The world champion and world record holder at this distance, Daniel Molendijk for Holland in third place four laps to go and the pace hots up yang yang now goes into the lead with the korean down into second place remember five points for a win here that's the important thing a real team event yang yang it is leading with uh, yunmi kim for the republic of korea in second place a battle for that third spot at the moment with two laps to go so now at the bell Still out in front, Yang Yang A, the world champion and world record holder. Korea finishing in second place. And it was the German, Annie Enkner, that finished in third with uh, Daniel Mollendijk for Holland in fourth place. So five points going to the world champion, Yang Yang A, for a win there. Three points for... Yunmi Kim for the Republic of Korea. Two points for Anne Enkler of Germany and a point for Daniel Monendijk of Holland. A look at that final lap again and uh, you can see there Enkler for Germany just making her move up into that third spot. But uh, good control showing from Yang Yang A as she pips Yunmi Kim to the post. There's confirmation of that heat. And you can see there the important thing are the points on the far side. The time is not that crucial. It's picking up the championship points that really matters. And that the point that Yang Yang A took the lead. Remember, this is a non-contact sport. Very important that uh, if you do make a overtaking maneuver, that it's clean and you don't impede the other skaters. Disqualifications or failing to finish here result in no points at all for your team. So we move on now to heat number three, the lineup here, Mara Ubani for Italy there. Running number 87. 15th in the World Championships, Ellen Vigas for Holland. That's Isabel Chouret. 10th in the Worlds, made it through to the finals of the 500 meters in the Olympics, but uh, was disqualified there. Even Kunz for Germany, 15th in the World Championships. That's Ellen Vigas. Well, the ice is quite superb here. Fabulous setting. The qualification rounds taking place over the last couple of days. And uh, a good turnout for these championships. Of course, the Italians uh, have a very strong team here. Looking back at last year's results, it didn't fare too well. Finished in third place in the men's behind Japan, who finished second. And it was the Republic of Korea that won with 57 points. In the ladies' event, the defending champions, the Republic of Korea, 59 points for them. Canada finished second with 45 points. Japan taking the bronze medal. So once again, nine laps of the track in this 1,000 meters. And uh, a 
a lot of tension there. Safely away this time, and uh, Isabel Choray for Canada. Down in that third spot, it's uh, Ellen Vigas for Holland that goes out in front, with Mara Uberni for Italy in second place, Choray in third, and the back, Yvonne Kunza. So again, uh, very much a slow pace to get the ball rolling. A lot of support here, as you would imagine, for Mara Ubani. And uh, gives you an idea how wonderful this setting is. Fabulous rink. Uh, almost a trip there from Ellen Vigas. She did well to stay on her feet, but it's uh, Mara Ubani giving the crowd something to shout about here in Bormio out in front. Isabel Charay just uh, having a look over her shoulder on the outside now starting to hop things up. Charay now takes up the running with five laps to go. Charay leads with Obani in second place. Yvonne Kunza it is in third with Vigas in fourth at the moment. Four laps to go now. Charay dictating the pace. Obani going with her. Well, this is looking good, the Canadian, very experienced indeed. Isabel Charay, ranked 10th in the world. So at the bell, Charay leads. The Italian, Obani, in second place, with Kunza in third. Well, very close at the line, but... Uh, Isabel Charay, I think, got there. Not the greatest camera angle at the finish line. Mara Ubani trying to get in there. There she is. It'll be good to see that finish again from, from a camera on the finish line. Well, no doubt that Isabel Charay had done enough looking at that again. Mara Ubani coming up the inside and just trying to get their glances across. No doubt in Charay's mind, she knew that she'd made it across the line first. And remember, in speed skating, it's the tip of the skate that's got across the line first. That's where the beam is. It's not the same as in the athletics. It's the upper half of the body. There's the uh, final results. Isabel Charay picking up five points. Mara Obani picks up three for that second place. Yvonne Kunza. For Germany, two, Ellen Vigas, one point. And uh, after the ladies, 1,000 metres, that's the situation. China in joint first place on 18 points with the Republic of Korea. Canada in third, a lot of work for them to do, 13 points for them. And uh, we move on now to the men's competition. Again, the men's 1,000 metres, and uh, this is a very exciting heat indeed. This is heat number six, and uh, the man at the top there wearing number six, Marc Gagnon, four times the world champion, world record holder at this distance. Finished fourth in the Olympics in the 500 metres. Dong Sung Kim there, bronze medalist in the world championships, ranked number one in the overall world rankings. Ranked number one at this distance as well, the uh, Olympic champion at this distance. Yi Huan for China, also in this lineup. That's Alexander Velzibur from Holland, who comes from a real short track speed skating family. You may remember his sister, Monique Velzibur, won three medals in 1988 Olympics in Calgary when short track speed skating was an exhibition sport. Sadly, she uh, had a terrible accident whilst competing and uh, is now paralyzed and in fact is married to the coach of the Dutch team former British skater Wolf O'Reilly who himself won a, a gold medal in those Calgary Olympics so off we go then this is heat number six men's 1000 meters all about the points and uh, Dong Sung Kim, it is in second place. Mark Gagnon taking up the running out in front. So Gagnon leading, Kim for Korea in second place. Velzibor for Holland in third. At the back, just keeping his eye on things. Yi Huan for China. Mark Gagnon 
did a sterling job in the World Championships. Great competitor. But it is Dong Sung Kim out in front at the moment. Mark Gagnon taking it wide. With four laps to go, Gagnon in second place. Dong Sung Kim still out in front, sensing that uh, Gagnon wants to speed things up a little bit. Gagnon on the outside, keeping out of trouble. Still in second place. So Gagnon needs to make a move now with two laps to go. Dong Sun Kim still leads. Gagnon now makes his move up the inside. Gagnon's got the line on this final lap. Mark Gagnon, the world champion leading. Dong Sun Kim in second place. And Yi Huan for China finishing in third. Alexander Velzebor for Holland. Well off the pace but picks up a point. So five points going to Canada out of that heat. Mark Gagnon, he made it look so, so easy. Just took his time. And uh, on that final lap with tremendous acceleration. Picks up the five points. Dong Sun Kim, bronze medalist in the World Championships. He picks up three points for that second finish. He won two points for finishing third. And uh, when the pace picked up there was nothing that one could do you could see him really struggling to keep with the two out in front Gagnon supremely confident and uh, probably in the form of his life so there's confirmation of that five points going to Canada Mark Gagnon winning three to Korea two to China and one to Holland so on to heat number seven, that's the lineup. Palachkova for Hungary, Francois Drolet for Canada. Drolet, 15th in the World Championships, ranked 24 overall in the world rankings, 19th at this distance. Fabio Carter there, the European champion, silver medalist in the World Championships, finished sixth in the Winter Olympic Games. And uh, there, Ho Young Lee for the Republic of Korea. Francois de Rollet. So there, Carter. Tremendous support for him here in this uh, team championships. Well, it looked as though uh, Fabio Carter may have had his front skate slightly over the line again a bit of cat and mouse being played here Francois Drolet for Canada goes out in front Fabio Carter in second place the Korean taking a look round the outside Hu Young Lee nobody really sure nobody really wanted to take up the running but it's Lee out in front now with Carter in second place Drolet just uh, makes a move now he takes up the running so Drolet out in front, the Hungarian just uh, leaving the three in front to change around the lead, keeping himself out of trouble. That's the important thing. Six laps to go now, and Carter speeds things up. A move from third place right out into the front. Fabio Carter for Italy now leading with Drolet in second place. Lee for Korea in third. Kova for Hungary at the back, and he makes a move up the inside, but uh, the rest sense the move and accelerate once more so still out in front Fabio Carter Francois Drolet in second place with three laps to go Carter for Italy leading the cowbells ringing here in Bormio so Carter leads Francois Drolet in second place hot on his heels two laps to go Carter perhaps extending his lead now Lee for Korea trying to stay with them and a great move there from Francois Drolet. So Drolet leads for Canada. The Italian, a surprise for him. Carter in second place, trying to get back there. Well, it was desperately close on the line, but I think it was Francois Drolet that got there. A desperate move from uh, Fabio Carter up the inside, trying to get the tip of his skate across the line first. But uh, Carter, I think, will only pick up three points for Italy. So five points again for Canada and this a good start to these championships well 
He'd have fancied his chances, wouldn't he, at the start of that. Fabio Carter. Second place. A look at that move from Francois Drolet again. And uh, Fabio Carter really does have a great turn of speed. And I have to say, I think that uh, he was caught catnapping there. Drolet very quick out of the corner and just nipped ahead, trying to get back in front. Fabio Carter there, but uh, didn't have the turn of speed. That's the move uh, when Carter went out in front early on in the race. So the results of heat number seven. Francois Drolet does pick up five points for Canada, three for Italy with that second place for Carter. And the Koreans not faring too well. Just two points for them there. And uh, look at the team results after the men's 1,000 meters. It's Canada leading on 17 points. China in second place on 13 points. Japan in third on 12. And look at that, the Republic of Korea down in fifth place. The defending champions only have 10 points after the first round here. Well, the band strike up. We're going to take a short break. It's the 500 metres coming up very shortly. Welcome back. We now focus our attention on the ladies once more. It's the ladies 500 metres. Remember the situation here is China and the Republic of Korea in joint first place on 18 points. The Canadians in third on 13 points. Italians in fourth at the moment on nine. And the first heat we're going to look at, Isabel Charay there for Canada. The world record holder at this distance, 44.86 at the time. That's uh, Min Kyun Choi for the Republic of Korea. For Italy, Evelina Brodigari, number 90 in there. Melanie Di Lang for Holland. So 500 metres, four and a half laps of the track. Full start there, the Canadians looking for valuable points to get back in contention. Five points behind both Korea and China. Not a full start. And good to see the turnout here in Bormio for this World Championships. Not the biggest arena I've been to, but pretty much full. And uh, a great atmosphere. So uh, off we go, and straight out in front is Isabel Charay. 500 metres, four and a half laps of the track, the start, very crucial. And Charay, the world record holder, finished 10th in the World Championships, out in front. The Korean Choi in second place. A big cheer for Roddy Gari in third, trying to inspire her to get past the Korean. It's Delang. At the back at the moment, and uh, well off the pace, but way out in front, Isabel Charay. Well, way out in front, a bit of an exaggeration, the Korean Choi. In contention, two laps to go now. Urodigari for Italy. Well, that was very, very close indeed. But uh, Isabel Charay, the world record holder, Picks up five points there. Close for second and third. 45.09, not uh, particularly fast. Uh, the Italian making a move right round the outside, but uh, it's Min Kyung Choi who will pick up the three points for the second place. Down on one knee as she crossed the line, trying to get that skate in front. Look at her looking for the inside line there. Looking for an extra little bit of acceleration out of that final curve. So uh, Choi finishes second. Evelina Rodigari for Italy. Picking up two points for that third place finish. And uh, Melanie Delang one point off the pace right from the word go. So we move on now to heat number six. That's the line. Mara Urbani for Italy. Susan Bush for Germany. Yang Yang A, the world champion for China, wearing number 12. There's Urbani, the uh, fourth skater in this heat. 
Sang Mi An for the Republic of Korea. There she is, 19 years of age. That's the German, Susan Bush. Germany uh, in joint fifth place at the moment on seven points. The Italians in fourth, just behind the Canadians on nine points. Four points behind the Canadian team at the moment. And of course, the uh, Canadians benefiting from the five points from Isabel Charest in the previous race. And we've got uh, Annie Perot, the Olympic champion, going up in the next heat. That's Yang Yang A. Deep breath from her. The world champion. Yang Yang A disqualified in the finals of the 1,000 meters in the Olympics. Bitterly disappointed. Made much of the early running and uh, had it coming together with Hai Kyung Won in those finals. So heat six of this lady's 500 meters. <laughs> Safely away this time. Good start from the Korean on the inside there. Sang Mi An out in front and uh, not for long with four laps to go. The Italian takes up the running. Mara Urbani it is out in front and look at Yang Yang A around the outside taking the longest route. Tremendously powerful and uh, up into second place on the shoulder now of Obani with three laps to go. Carrying the speed through very, very well indeed. So out in front now, the world champion Yang Yang A really making sure of those five points. The Korean Sang Mi An in second place. Mara Obani really battling for second spot. No one's going to catch Yang Yang out in front. So Yang Yang wins. Sang Mi An finishes in second place for the Republic of Korea, picks up three points there. Mara Obani, two points for that third place finish. And Susan Bush for Germany, picking up one point. Well, what a move from Yang Yang. Didn't have a good start, late onto the ice. But goodness me, once she got out in front, there was no stopping her. Here's the move round the outside, took the long route, made sure she kept out of trouble. No risk of a disqualification. Remember, if you don't finish or you're disqualified, there's no points for the team. So important to keep yourself out of trouble, and Yang Yang did just that. There she is. And uh, confirmation of that, Yang Yang A wins. The A, incidentally, standing for August. We've got two Yang Yangs in the competition. One with an S and one with an A. One's for September, one's for August. So on now to heat number seven. This is the final heat in the 500 meters. It'll be the 3,000 meters next, and then the relay. And remember the points increase in the 3,000 meters. It's eight points for a win. Six for second, five for third in the relay. Thirteen for a win, seven for second, five for third. So the lineup then for heat number seven. That's Annie Perot, the Olympic champion. Run number 51, Evgenia Radonova, fourth in the world championships from Bulgaria, in great form. Katia Recce for Germany, next to the Italian. And the Italian on the outside Katia Kolchuri 15th in the world championships and uh, straight away out in front the Olympic champion Annie Perot so Perot leads Radonova for Bulgaria in second place Kolchuri for Italy off the pace in third with Rechke for Germany at the back of the moment a little bit of a coming together there as Radonova makes a move up the inside so Radonova now leading, but will there be a disqualification? Remember, this is a non-contact sport, and you mustn't take the skater's line. Annie Perot has really lost her rhythm, and a chance for Katia Kulchuri to catch up, but... Uh, no doubt that 
Evgenia Radonova was the first over the line, but I feel that she will probably be disqualified. Radonova crossed the line first, Annie Perot in second place with Kulchuri in third, but uh, I do feel that the points will go to Canada. Let's wait for confirmation. Katarina Rechke for Germany, well off the pace there. And a look at that move again. This is uh, Radonova, sees a gap up the inside. Well, she's got the line there, elbow across in front of Perot. Nowhere for Perot to go. She did well to stay on her feet. And uh, the judges and officials in the centre of the track watching on, and they won't miss that. Well, I'm pretty sure that will be a disqualification for impeding. We we'll wait for confirmation. Coming to these championships with renewed confidence, that frown really saying it all. Virginia Radanova just waiting to hear her fate. Here's the results. So Annie Perot indeed does get the five points for Canada. Katia Kulchuri, three points. Drechka picks up two for Germany. And uh, disappointment for Radanova, who finished out of the medals in the World Championships. No points here. China then still leading. Republic of Korea in second place. Canada in third with 28 points. The Italians seven points behind in fourth on 21 points. So on to the men's 500 metres. And uh, the lineup for the men. Heat number one. Cornel Zanto for Hungary. Mark Gagnon, the world champion for Canada in here. That's uh, Hyun Huan Lee. Seventh in the uh, finals, or seventh in the Olympics in the 1,000 metres. Third in the B final, in fact, and uh, Li Huan, silver medalist in the Olympics in the 1,000 metres for China there, wearing number 16. So the Republic of Korea, China, Canada and Hungary line up here for the first heat of the men's 500 metres. Keep your eyes on Mark Gagnon. So not a good start from Gagnon. Li Huan for China out in front. Li Hyun Huan for Korea in second place. Mark Gagnon in third at the moment. Left himself with a lot to do. Zanto for Hungary at the back. But it's uh, Li Ji Huan for China still out in front. Mark Gagnon now makes a move up into second place with two laps to go. Gagnon now. Looking for those five valuable points. Mark Gagnon in second place at the bell. Now makes a move up the inside, looking for space. So Gagnon now leading. Well, the Korean going through with him. Lee Jun Hwan. Gagnon out in front. It's going to be close to the line. Wow. That was very, very close indeed. Jun Hwan Lee for the Republic of Korea. A good line out of the final curve. Nipped up the inside. Did he get there first? Gagnon with a good move with two laps to go. Mark Gagnon, the world champion. Well, look at that, it doesn't get any closer. In fact, it was the Korean that crossed the line in first place. Gagnon moving right across in front of his line. And uh, Li Ji Huan for China just uh, watches on and finishes in third place. Let's have a look at the results. Mark Gagnon disqualified there. So it's... Uh, Republic of Korea picking up five points, China with three, Hungary two, no points for Canada in this first heat of the men's 500 metres. Now that will prove very crucial indeed. It's important to uh, qualify, remember Canada leading after the 1,000 metres with 17 points, China in second on 13, Japan have 12 points in third place. We move on now, heat number three. The lineup here, Satoru Torao for Japan, fourth in the World Championships. Alexander Velzebor for Holland there. The uh, tall figure just out of picture now. That's Kai Feng, the world record holder at this distance, which stands at 
0.458 and for Hungary Balash Notcha. So fast and furious. Toreo for Japan. Fourth in the World Championships. Didn't qualify in either final in the Olympics. Safely away this time. Toreo trying to make a move up the inside and he gets into the first corner ahead. So Toreo for Japan leading. Then it's Feng for China. The Hungarian doing well and uh, Velzibor well off the pace at the moment. Still holding the lead. Toreo, it is for Japan. Kai Feng, the world record holder, in second place, making a move up the inside. Feng now takes up the running. Toreo in second place. Notcher for Hungary in third at the moment. With a battle between Japan and China for the lead. Toreo looking for a way past. Wide out of that corner and a chance there for Notcher to move up into second place. This is the last lap. Toreo needs to make a move now wide into the final curve. He needs to keep his speed. The Hungarian blocked him on the uh, exit of that final curve. Kai Feng, the world record holder, wins that one. A quick race, 42.87. So Feng wins. Balash Notcha in second place for Hungary. And Toreo couldn't find a way through. Out of that final curve, finishing in third place. Picking up two points. Feng dictating the pace and uh, he left Balash Nutcha nowhere to go. Coming out of that final bend, really showing good awareness. Toreo letting Feng through and paying the price. Well, Toreo uh, thought he saw an opening and lost a lot of ground. The Hungarian taking advantage of that. So, uh, let's see the results. Kai Feng picks up five points for China. Hungary picking up three. That's good for them. Notcha in second place. Disappointment for Japan's Satoru Toreo. Just two points out of that heat. Heat number four now. And uh, the lineup: Francois de Rollet, 15th in the World Championships. Finished sixth in the 500 for Canada. There he is. Vincent Volvers for Holland. For Japan, we've got Takafumi Nishitani, the Olympic champion, and the former Olympic champion in this race as well, wearing number 36, Cheji Hoon. That's uh, Volvers for Holland. Cheji Hoon, the uh, former Olympic champion on the outside. The Olympic champion on the inner and... Uh, a little bit of tension there. I think it was Volvers that uh, made the false start, taking Che Ji Hoon with him. So, uh, for the second time of asking. Canada, Holland, Japan, and the Republic of Korea. Safely off. Bit of a trip there from Francois Drolet. Did well to stay on his feet. He's into second place. Nishitani trying to take advantage of that, opening up quite a lap with four laps to go. Quite a lead now. So Nishitani leads, Drolet in second place as a faller there, that's the Dutchman. Volvers is down and out. And uh, Che for Korea, off the pace. Takifumi Nishitani, the Olympic champion, really dominating this heat. Heat number four in these men's 500 metres. Well, he can relax now, just needs to stay on his feet. And look at Che. Reeling in, Francois Drolet. Drolet needs to keep his awareness coming out of the final bend. Whoa! And Volvers getting in the way there. But uh, an exhibition performance from Takafumi Nishitani, the Olympic champion. A quick race indeed, and uh, Vincent Volvers back on his feet. And uh, just looking at them cross the line there, you can see Volvers just getting in the way of Che Ji Hoon as he crosses the line. Whoa! Nifty bit of footwork. But didn't Takafumi Nishitani make it look easy? That's the demise of Vincent Volvers for Holland. The rest of the pack off on their way. So we wait for confirmation of the results of heat number four.
appears to the ice being made as the skaters in the next heat take to the ice. Che Ji Hoon. And uh, their confirmation, five points for Japan. Canada picking up three. They would love to add five points there with that disqualification from Gagnon early on. Che Ji Hoon for the Republic of Korea picking up two points. So the results for the men after the 500 metres. Italy now leading on 28 points, a point ahead of China. The Republic of Korea in third on 25 points. Canada two points behind in fourth place. Japan still in the running. It's very, very tight, this one. It'll go right down to the wire. Remember, there's eight points at stake for a win in the 3,000 metres and 13 points at stake in the relay. The relay, if you've never seen it before, is something very, very special indeed. Incredibly exciting. That coming up shortly. The 3,000 metres will be next. We're going to take a short break while the ice is resurfaced. Don't go away. More speed skating from Bormio. Back in a minute. We're now down to the nitty-gritty. It's the ladies' 3,000 metres. And uh, just to recap on the points here, the situation as we go into the 3,000 metres is that China are leading with 35 points, the Republic of Korea in second on 32, Canada in third on 28 points, and Italy in fourth on 21 points. The uh, points at stake here, eight points for a win, six for second, and then it goes down five, four, three, two, one. Seven countries, remember, taking part and one representative from each country in each of the two heats. So a lot at stake and the standings could easily change. Remember, the final event will be the relay. 13 points at stake there for the winning team. So the lineup for the first 3,000 metres, 27 laps on the track there. Eugenia Radonova for Bulgaria. Just got a glimpse of Katia Kulturi, the Italian. That's Annie Perot for Canada. Perot, the Olympic champion in the 500 metres. That's Yvonne Kunze from Germany. And, uh, she's likely to have a work cut out in this one. And Yanni Landman for Holland, wearing 72. We're looking for Yan Yang A. She's on the outside there for China. Yunmi Kim for the Republic of Korea in there as well. well in fact, those two side by side. The German at the back, Iwon Kunza. And uh, off on their way, 27 laps of the track. Yang Yang A, the world champion, in third place at the moment. Yumi Kim for the Republic of Korea, out in front. Kim finished the uh, world championships in fifth place. That Kim in third is the German out in front. Yvonne Kunze leading with... Uh, Landman for Holland in second place. This very slow pace indeed. But I can assure you things will hot up in the latter stages. A real cat and mouse game, this 3,000 metres. So 24 laps to go. Nobody wanting to take up the running. Radonova right at the back of the pack. Zivon Kunza comes out in front and uh, a slight acceleration here. So Kunze leading for Germany. Landman for Holland in second place. Then it's the Korean Yunmi Kim. For China, Yang Yang A, the world champion. In fourth, the Italian Katia Kulturi just behind. Still at the back, it's Evgenia Radinova, the Bulgaria who's found incredible form this season. Just ahead of her, Annie Perot for Canada. See the ice really standing up well here in Bormio. And it really does take a pounding. On each race, the officials move the track. And uh, Anki Landman now deciding it's time to get the ball rolling. Yunmi Kim for Korea going with her in that second spot. Yang Yang in third. 
Kunza in fourth, Kulchuri in fifth. Behind her, Annie Perot still at the back and uh, not wanting to take up any of the running is Virginia Radanova. So 18 laps to go now and uh, once more it all slows right down. Landman just uh, slowing the pace down. Korean Yunmi Kim still in second place. China's Yang Yang A. The world champion in third place at the moment. Yang Yang with an incredible turn of speed. Well, the stadium here packed to the gunnels, and that's good to see. A great atmosphere and a super venue. Well, even I could go around at this pace. But I tell you what, once they get going, they really do fly. So Radanova now for Bulgaria out in front. Landman for Holland in second place, the German. Yvonne Kunze in third. All of the big guns at the back now. Kim for Korea, and then it's Yang Yang. Then it's Kulchuri, and at the back now, Annie Perot for Canada with 11 laps to go. And uh, pretty soon you'd expect things to hold up. Well, almost like a training session. Radanova dictating the pace. Well, I thought perhaps Kim was going to launch herself forwards there, but uh, not to be. Radanova still in front. Perot just confident and happy to sit at the back at the moment. Well, things are speeding up. There looks to be a little bit of action at the back. Kim for Korea up into second place ahead of uh, Landman. Yang Yang just uh, down in fourth. Kulchuri there. Perot still at the back. Six laps to go. A move will have to be made soon. Yang Yang now up into third place. So Radanova still leading. Kim for Korea in second place. Yang Yang A, the world champion, in third with Landman just behind. Then it's Katja Kulchuri for Italy. Four laps to go now. Kim, hot on the heels of Radanova. Ready to pounce. Kim makes her move up the inside. Kim now leading for Korea. Radanova in second place. Yang Yang in third. Three laps to go now. Yang Yang looking for some space round the outside. Yang Yang now makes a move up into second place. So Kim leads. Yang Yang in second place. Radanova trying to hang on in there. Yang Yang, the world champion, trying to make a move round the outside. Kim trying to block the door. Well, there looked to be a, a little bit of barging there as we go into the final lap. But it's Yang Yang A for China that leads. The Korean Yunmi Kim in second place. And Radanova, who's made so much of the early running, finishing in third place. Eight points for a win here, six for second, five for third. Then it's down four, three, two, and one. Yang Yang A, the winner there for China, picks up those eight points, so China extending their lead. 35 points. Remember, China had a three-point advantage over Canada. That moves now to a five-point advantage as we move on to the second heat. Annie Perot just trying to make a move up the inside of Katia Kutjuri there. Who uh, is down and out at the end of that one. And a few words being said there from the Italian coaches. Here the move from Yang Yang A around the outside of Yunmi Kim. Tremendous turn of speed, just... Uh, Kept plenty in reserve, and you could see, well, it was a budge of the shoulders, really, wasn't it? Yang Yang. 
so strong, taking the long route round the outside. Yunmi Kim trying to close the door. Well, it was a, a little bit of a barge there from the Korean. Well, no problems. The points being picked up. Yang Yang picks up eight for China, six for Yunmi Kim for the Republic of Korea, five for Radanova for Bulgaria. They need the points, and Landman picking up four points there for Holland. And that's the winner, number 12, Yang Yang A. So China extend their lead. So the lineup for the second heat of the ladies, 3,000 meters. That's what it looks like. Marinella Cantlini for Italy, the European champion, wearing number 86. There she is. Isabel Chiray for Canada, wearing number two. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea. Sun Dan Dan for China, for Bulgaria. Anna Krasteva for Holland. And in Vigas, there's Lee Kyung Chun. And uh, Christine Priest for Germany. There's Isabel Chiray. who finished 10th in the World Championships this year and uh, well, <laughs> nobody wanting to take up this one. The cowbells ringing, the hooters blowing. But uh, nobody perturbed. But if you saw our coverage of the World Championships from Vienna last weekend, you'll see that uh, Marinella Cantlini had a nasty fall And good to see her back here. Well, there, Isabel Charay now takes up the running. Cantlini in second place. The supporters out in force here in Bormio for Cantlini. In third for Germany, it's uh, Christine Priest. Lee Kung Chun, keep your eye on her for Korea in fourth place. And uh, Dan Dan Sun just behind her. 22 laps to go, and this uh, a very sedate pace indeed. So Isabel Charay dictating the pace. Marinella Cantlini on her shoulders, just uh, keeping an eye on things. And uh, so important to have good awareness of what's going on behind you, as well as what's happening up the front. Cantlini now out in front. I don't think it was her choice. She looks across to see if anybody else wants to take up the running, but uh, Can Cleaney stuck out in front with 19 laps to go. Priest for Germany in second place. Can Cleaney, who didn't have a great world championships, finished in seventh place. At the back, the Canadian as well, Sheree. Remember the situation here China leading on 35 points, three points ahead of the Republic of Korea as uh, the pace starts to quicken now. And Ellen Vigas for Holland out in front. Marinella Cantlini going with her with 15 laps to go. Just coasting round that bend. The pack closing in. And uh, once more, things slow down again. Ellen uh, Vigas out in front, but uh, looking for the chance to really break away. So Vigas for Holland leads, Canclini for Italy in second place. Then it's the German, Christine Priest.
and uh, at the back at the moment Dan Dan Sun for China and now perhaps looking for a way around the outside so with 11 laps to go Vegas for Holland still out in front it's a very tactical race indeed and uh, interesting to see Isabel Charay there up into third place now that's the uh, Highest placing that she's been so far in this race. Well, plenty of energy has been conserved, no doubt about that. Canclini now leads with uh, Charay in second place. The Korean in third. Lee Kung Chun in third place. Sun for China in fourth. And... Uh, a little bit of a bunch at the back there. But uh, Can Clean is still dictating the pace. The Koreans and uh, Sun for China now makes a move around the outside. So Sun for China leading the Korean, looking for a way to go through with her. Can Cleany not worried at all. Let's her go with six laps to go. Well, it's all bunched up. Isabel Charay in there as well. Canada looking for valuable points. They only have 28 points going into this. 3,000 meters. Annie Perot didn't do too well in the first heat. And Isabel Charay now down in fourth place. It's Chun for Korea out in front. Canclini in second place. Sun for China in third. Then Isabel Charay for Canada. The front four pulling away with three laps to go. Chun for Korea still leading. Canclini hanging on in that second place. Dan Dan Sun for China in third with two laps to go. Isabel Charay for Canada in contention. Can Cleany with a head down now in second place, still in front for Korea. It's Chun on the final lap. Chun's going to make it. Can Cleany makes a move up the inside, but nowhere to go. So Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea wins that one. Marinella Can Cleany, I think it was, that made it through in second place, but a real scramble for second, third, and fourth. Can Cleany there. I think got through in second place. We'll wait for confirmation of that. No doubt about the winner, though. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea. The Koreans, the defending champions in both the ladies and the men's. In fact, they're a much better shot. Kanklini does get through in second place. Then uh, Dan Dan Sun for China. Isabel Charay coming through in fourth place. A real scramble for the line. And uh, we wait for confirmation of the final results. So, uh, no doubt about the winner. And I reckon it's Chun for Korea winning, picking up valuable eight points. Second place to Canclini for Italy. Italians lying in fourth place overall. And uh, Dan Dan Sun for China in third. Indeed, that's right. Isabel Charay for Canada just picking up four points there with that fourth place. Good performance from Ellen Vegas. The men coming out onto the ice now for their 3,000 metres, but the situation after the ladies, 3,000 China leading on 48 points, the Republic of Korea in second, Canada in third on 35 points. Well, we rejoin the action here in the men's 3,000 metres. And uh, the line-up here. And you long for China. Dong Dong, Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea. Canada's Mark Gagnon, the four times world champion. There he is in uh, third place at the moment. Noya Tamura for Japan. Dave Versteeg for Holland. Hungary's Balash Nocha and Fabio Carter, the European champion for Holland. Well, Dave Versteeg, former world record holder of the 500 meters that uh, now belongs to Kaifeng.
There's a Carter. An experienced campaigner. And uh, just keeping his eye on Mark Gagnon there. Well, uh, the situation going into this 3,000 metres is that uh, Italy lead the championships on 28 points. A point behind is China. Second place, third place, the Republic of Korea on 25 points. The Canadians desperately looking for points in fourth place, 23 points. It's uh, pretty tight at the top. Remember, eight points at stake for a win here. And uh, shortly, the relay, where 13 points will be awarded to the winning team. Seven for second, five for third. Time to have a little scratch there for... Fabio Carter. Carter it is out in front with Mark Gagnon in second place. Yorong An in third place, the silver medalist in the 500 metres in the Olympics. Dong Sung Kim right at the back, the Olympic champion at the 1,000 metres. Fourth place for Japan there. Not worried about his style and not worried about conserving energy. The Japanese skater Noya Tamura. So there he is. Tamura now takes up the running out in front. Like a stroll in the park. 16 laps to go. And uh, Carter now takes up the running for Italy. So Italy first, Japan second, China third, Mark Gagnon just taking a look around the outside, deciding better of it. Gagnon up into third place, Carter just glancing across. Making it look very easy indeed. 13 laps to go. Out in front. It's Nuya Tamura. So Tamura leading Gagnon. Well, Gagnon now takes up the running out in front. Ten laps to go now. So Gagnon in second place, the Hungarian. Balas Noc, it is out in front. Gagnon second. Tamura for Japan in third place with eight laps to go. China's... And in third, Fabio Carter having none of that. He's out in front again now, and uh, much to the appreciation of the crowd here in Italy. Carter now leading. Mark Gagnon in second place. Things starting to hot up. Tamura making a move around the outside. Gagnon sensing that. A little bit of a trip there from Fabio Carter. Mark Gagnon, four times world champion, out in front with six laps to go. Tamura in second place. Fabio Carter still in third for Italy. Five laps now. Still pretty sedate pace. But the field beginning to spread out a little bit. Carter now makes a move round the outside with four laps to go. Carter for Italy up into second place. A hand on the back there from Nuya Tamura. A battle on now between Gagnon and Carter. Mark Gagnon hanging on in there. Holds on to that lead. Carter leads for... In fact, Carter in second place for Italy. Mark Gagnon. It is leading for Canada. So Gagnon leading for Canada. Carter taking a look up the inside in the final lap now. Gagnon still in front. A move there up the inside from Kim for Korea, but it's Carter that gets there in second place. Gagnon wins. So eight valuable points to the Canadian team. The European champion Fabio Carter finishing in second place.
picking up six points and five points going to Don Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea. Fabio Carter there. Oh, a good battle between him and uh, Mark Gagnon, the world champion. Fabio Carter, remember, finished second in the world championships last week in Vienna. Gagnon making it look very easy. Kept enough in reserve for the final sprint to the line. Carter looking for a way past. Takes the long route round the outside, but uh, Mark Gagnon, the master of getting the line right. Gagnon really closing.